Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to make this cute little Miffy drawstring bag. So this is the first time that I'm making a crochet tutorial for a drawstring bag. You can put quite a lot of things inside this cute little Miffy purse. So here are some photos. Without further ado, let's get started. I'll be putting all the materials that you're gonna need on the screen right about now. Without further ado, let's get started with a good old slip knot. So, you're gonna start with a slip knot like this. So, if you don't know how to make a slip knot, there is a video tutorial where I explain how to make a slip knot very slowly. I will put it somewhere here. After you make a slip knot, this is how you're gonna make a chain. You are going to make 20 chains that is going to be the length of the Miffy pouch so if you want the pouch to be longer you can add more chains but I would not suggest it because I feel like this is the perfect size for a small drawstring pouch so you're gonna chain 20 and I'll see you guys okay so I have made 20 chains as you can see and once you finish making 20 chains you are going to make two extra chains one and two after that you're gonna yarn over and into the third chain from the hook this is the third chain from the hook you're gonna insert the hook pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You're gonna make a double crochet. So into the third chain from the hook, make a double crochet and continue making double crochets until you reach the start of the chain. This is how we do the double crochet, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. You got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again and pull through two. So you have to continue to make double crochets. I'm assuming that you know how to do the basic stitches. Once you have done the first few stitches, this is how it will look like. So continue doing it and I'll see you guys at the start of the chain. Okay, so we are at the start of the chain. I have to make one last double crochet like into the first most chain. So you can see me doing it right now. You're gonna yarn over. Insert the hook into the very first chain. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. Now into that very first chain, you are going to make two more double crochets. So in the first chain, all together you have three double crochets. I almost forgot. It's better if we can mark our first stitch especially if you are a beginner so let me mark my first stitch from there onwards count your stitches you should be having 20 double crochet stitches so this is me counting to make sure that I have 20 okay so I have 20 so like I said earlier I have to place two more double crochets into that very first chain. So this is me placing my second double crochet into the first chain itself. And my next double crochet into the same first chain. Like that, you are going to continue placing double crochets into each chain. I'll see you guys at the end of this round. Okay guys, so I'm at the end of the round and at the final chain. Into this final one, you're gonna place two extra double crochets. That means altogether there will be three double crochets into that chain. 
Okay, I hope it's not confusing. So at the start and end of the chains, there are three double crochets in each. So all together, the total stitch count would be 42. Okay, I hope it's not confusing. So you can count the stitches to make sure that you have 42. And to end the round, we are going to insert the hook into the first stitch and finish it off with a slip stitch. To start the second round, you're gonna chain two and then into the first stitch, you're gonna place a double crochet. So go into the both loops, that means go into the stitch. A stitch is this V shape that you see. So insert your hook like this, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So make a double crochet and don't forget to mark it as your first stitch. And then just continue making double crochets. It's super easy once you get the hang of it. So now we are just placing double crochets. No any changes for the pattern. Insert your hook into each of the stitches and place your double crochets. Altogether, there should be 42 stitches at the end of this round. I'll see you guys by the end of round 2. I'm at the end of round 2, placing my final double crochet. If you are not sure whether you have the same pattern as mine, just count and make sure that you have 42 stitches. To finish the round, just like before, you're gonna insert your hook into the first stitch. You're gonna pull up a loop and pull it all the way through. That means you're doing a slip stitch to connect the second round. That is it guys, you are going to follow this until you reach the height that you want or in this case, we are going to make 12 rows. So that was our second row, we have to repeat this 10 more times. To start the third chain, you're gonna chain 2 and into the first chain, make a double crochet, mark it as your first stitch and continue doing double crochets. This is how it should look like by the end of round 3, so you have to make 9 more rounds. I'll see you guys at the end of round 12. I know it took a little bit of time but finally here I am at the end of 12 rounds which is the height of the drawstring pouch. Here you can see me counting to make sure that there are 12 rounds or 12 rows which is the height that I preferred for this drawstring bag. If you want it to be like higher, please feel free to add more rows. But anyways, I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna leave enough tail to weave it in and then cut it off and finish it off. With the help of a darning needle, I will hide the tails. Next, we are going to make the string of the drawstring pouch. So for that, you're gonna start with a slip knot. Here I'm showing it to you a little bit slower to make the slip knot. Using your hook, you're gonna make chains. So for the string, you're just going to make chains. So you have to make 55 chains for the string. That is the length that I prefer. Make 55 chains. I'll see you guys at the end of 55 chains. So I have finished making 55 chains and I'm going to leave enough yarn like this and then finish it off. You have to make another string with 55 chains. These are the two strings that I made. Next we are going to make the ears of the Miffy drawstring pouch. So to make the ears, first start off with a magic ring like this and then you're gonna make 6 single crochets into the magic ring. 
Hansa Jehok, Una Peluk, Yang Nomor Putra 2. Make 6 single crochets and I'll meet you guys at the end of round 1. I'm at the end of that round so I'm gonna pull from the tail to close the magic ring and then to start off with the second round you are going to insert the hook into the first stitch and make one single crochet into that insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and then into the second you're gonna make two single crochets you're gonna do an increase so one and into the same second stitch make another single crochet into the third make a single crochet and into the next make an increase so the pattern is single crochet increase and you're gonna follow this until you reach the end of round two by the end of this round the total stitch count would be nine here is the second round completed and then to start the third round you're gonna insert your hook into the first stitch place one single crochet into the next you're gonna do an increase and into the third stitch you're gonna place one single crochet so the pattern is single crochet increase single crochet you have to follow this until you reach the end of round three by the end of this round, you should be having a total stitch count of 12. I'll see you guys at the end of round 3. I just finished the third round and this is how your work should look like. For the next round, round 4, just place single crochets. No any change to the pattern, so by the end of round 4, still the total stitch count would be 12. I'll see you guys at the end of round 4. This is how it should look like by the end of the 4th round. For the next round, we are going to do a decrease. So into the first stitch, place a single crochet and go through the front loops of the next 2 stitches. Just like this. I hope you can see it clearly. You have to go through the front loops of the next two stitches. Then pull up a loop. You got two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. That is a decrease. And into the next place one single crochet. Into the next do a decrease. So the pattern is one single crochet decrease, continue it and I'll reach you guys at the end of this round. This is how it should look like by the end of the round and the total stitch count should be 8. For the next 4 rounds, you are just going to place single crochet into each of the stitches, no any changes for the pattern. I'll see you guys by the end of 4 more rounds. This is the completed Miffy's ear. So this is the ear after 9 rounds and I'm gonna leave enough yarn to sew it to the body of the Miffy or the drawstring purse and cut it off. Follow the same pattern to make 2 ears like this. Now it's time for us to make the stars. For that, I'm using the 4-ply milk cotton yarn in the color purple and a 3.5mm hook. To start the star, we're gonna make a magic ring and into the magic ring, you're gonna place 10 half double crochets. So yarn over, insert the hook into the magic ring, pull up a loop, you got 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 3. So that is one half double crochet. You have to make 10 half double crochets into the magic ring. I'll see you guys at the end of this round. I just completed making 10 half double crochets and now to finish the first round, you're gonna make a slip stitch. 
So insert the hook, pull up the loop and pull it all the way through so that we have a perfect circle. Next you're gonna chain one and then into the first stitch you're gonna place one single crochet. And into the next stitch you're gonna place one half double crochet and into the same stitch you're gonna place one double crochet and then you're gonna do two chains just chain two one two and then again into that same stitch you're gonna place one double crochet and one half double crochet so we are still working into the second stitch one half double crochet into the same second stitch that is one leg or one arm of the start okay next into the third stitch you're gonna place one single crochet And into the fourth you're gonna repeat that same steps half double crochet double crochet chain two double crochet half double crochet making the double crochet into that same stitch and then make two chains into the same make one double crochet and one half double crochet I hope it is not confusing so for the third arm you're gonna make a single crochet into the next stitch and into the next again half double crochet double crochet chain two double crochet half double crochet do all these into the same stitch Okay, so you are all together repeating these five times so that you have five arms and that will be the completion of the star. I'll see you guys at the end. This is how it should look like and for the final one you're gonna make a slip stitch into the next stitch so that is how we end the star you're gonna cut off the yarn and pull it out this is one star you have to make three more stars altogether you should be having four stars like this Now let's add the string to the pouch. For that you're gonna use a darning needle like this and then you're gonna send this through the pouch. Count two rows from the top of the pouch and into the Start from one of the corners, left hand or right hand and then insert the turning needle into the second row from the top of the pouch counting from the top of the pouch insert the turning needle into the second row and you're gonna go under and over two stitches so have a gap of two stitches I think now you can have a good view of what I am trying to say so with a gap of two stitches you're going to go under and over like this you have to send the string all the way around the pouch I have just finished sending one string into the pouch and 
you have to do the same thing with the other string but you have to start it in the opposite sign let's say you started the first one uh, from the left side now this one you should start from the right side and make sure that you are going like you are doing the same thing you are leaving the same two gaps as you can see I am going under and over the same way that I did the previous string but I am starting from the opposite side okay I hope it is clear if not the drawstring won't work that's why so in the other string also as you can see the same thing I am following the same thing I am leaving the two gaps going under and over two gaps alternatively just like the previous string I'm so sorry if I am not being much clear here but I hope you can understand now I'm doing the other half of that string and I think you can see it much clear here so I'm leaving the same two stitches as the previous string and going under and over so if you have done this properly once you finish making the string and when you pull from the two ends the bag should be closed if you have done it properly once you finish sending the strings you have to place knots at the two ends like this I'm placing about 3 or 4 knots to make it secure and yeah next we'll attach the stars to the two ends to attach the stars first I join it a little bit firstly because otherwise it will be hard for me to attach it so here I'm using a white color yarn if you don't like it to be white you can use the same color purple and join the two stars if you are too lazy to sew it and join you can just hot glue it um, that will work but I don't know I prefer to sew it on so here's me sewing the star onto the two sides I have completed attaching the two stars and the drawstring bag should work like this Next to attach the ears, I've counted 5 rows from the top and approximately to the middle to the center of the pouch, I will be attaching the 2 ears. Just follow the video and you will understand. If you don't like the ear to be like this, you can kind of attach it to the pouch, like on top of the ear, or else just leave the ear like this. I'm not going to just show all the boring parts, I'm gonna skip some and boom! You have to attach the other ear and this is how it will look like once it's been attached and oh my god it's already so cute. So for the final touches you had to fix the eyes and sew the mouth. I'm gonna count approximately 3 to 4 rows from the bottom and glue the eyes there. To make the mouth, I use a black thread. Uh, actually, I'm using a yarn in black color itself. If you want the mouth to be thinner, you can use a thin black thread. And here I'm embroidering it like the letter X because Miffy's mouth is like that. And I'm placing a few nuts to make it secure. And with that, we have completed making Miffy. It's so cute. Oh my god, look at this. This is my first drawstring pouch tutorial and I'm completely in love with the result. I hope that you guys enjoyed making the Miffy drawstring pouch. 
And don't forget, you can also check me out on Instagram. You can support me on coffee and also shop for my patterns on Etsy. As always, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.